Momentum is a major factor in sports. Whether it's in-game, during the season, or something that carries over from the previous year, Southern Lehigh certainly hopes to ride the wave into 2022 after what they've accomplished a season ago. We're extremely excited to continue what we like started last year. We definitely have a lot of big goals coming up for this season, and we're super excited to see like what we can do and see like how much more we can accomplish. It's really exciting because we feel like we just ended like the last season so we're like still on that roll we still have a lot of key players sad to lose the seniors but like we're just like going to keep going and getting those freshmen in getting them a lot of time getting them a lot of reps so we, they can fill in the seniors that graduate last year's spots pretty easily it's not often that the majority of your team consists of underclassmen that however the case for the spartans who have over 20 freshmen and sophomores on their roster which is a large part to their success and also a huge testament to the feeder programs here at southern lehigh no it's definitely a good thing because then you have like those freshmen continuing throughout like their whole career and it just like makes our um, program so strong like throughout the years so it just like continues to grow it says a lot about the program that we have a good enough middle school program to like get them ready for this next level and that the coaches really do care about like the underclassmen they're not just like shying them away and focusing on the upperclassmen for varsity and that they really do care about how this program goes on like any year the spartans will look to fill in the missing pieces but still believe even with a lot of youth their strength remains in the midfield. Probably our midfield. I feel like we have a lot of strong midfielders. Sarah Tesh on the draw again this year. We saw her a lot on the draw last year with um, Iris Gluck. So I feel like the midfield mainly has uh, retained a lot of its strength. So I feel like that's where um, we're going to be best this year. Definitely have a lot of returning like offenders and like our midfield is pretty strong um, with who's in it and defense. We definitely have some spots to fill in defense, but we have a lot of juniors who are stepping up and like playing spots that they haven't played before. But I mean, we have a few spots on offense where we have like three freshmen filling in, which is like it's nerve wracking for them. It's but I mean, they're definitely stepping up to the challenge and success breeds confidence making the Spartans' biggest goal to become back-to-back -back district champs. Definitely would be something that Southern Lehigh has never done with the back-to-back. -back. Um, it would be the fifth title, too, since the inception of uh, Lehigh Valley Lacrosse on the girls' side. I think that was in 08. So it would be pretty cool to have five. It would be pretty cool to put together the first back-to-back, -back, which I think is a big deal. Yeah, no, for sure. I think we definitely want to win it again because last year we saw that it was that attainable. So I think we know we have the potential and we're just going to go for it and see where it takes us this season. On the scene at Southern Lehigh, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.